that tastes like justice. So to first to get something out of the way with, I am a huge fan of Mask of the Phantasm, and this is the Blu-ray review of the film that was just recently released. Now there's a lot of movies in the DC Animated Universe that you can go back and forth on, which ones are great, which ones are alright, which ones are bad, but there's always one or two that stand out as being the best of the best. There's several such as Doomsday Superman, Batman Under the Red Hood, but for me, it will always be the OG, Mask of the Phantasm. Mask of the Phantasm is basically a combination of year one and year two put together in a story put together by Alan Burnett, who was one of the main writers on the show, the animated series. And this movie is fantastic. It has excellent pacing, excellent voice acting, incredible action sequences, a masterful performance by the Joker. Mark Hamill's performance as the Joker in this film is absolutely standout, not only with how he delivers it, but with the dialogue. As we truly see what Ed Brubaker put into his story, The Man Who Laughed, as the idea that the Joker can switch back between a childish prankster to a absolute insane psychotic on the spin of a hat. But really, what the heart of this story is, is if Batman could find love. And I'm not talking about comics like Hush or the ones that Kevin Smith did. I'm talking about what would happen if Bruce Wayne had to decide between the vow he made to his parents or being happy. Now a lot of people talk about how awesome the Phantasm is, how cool the setups and the action scenes are, how cool the Joker is, but the love story with Andrea Beaumont is one of the key parts of this film and what makes it so good. This is an origin story, as I said earlier. This is year one mixed with elements of year two. And what happens is, along the way, as Bruce is creating the Batman, he meets Andrea Beaumont, who he finds love with. And one of the best scenes of the film is when he's at his parents' gravesite in the rain, crying, trying to convince himself, not so much them, himself, that should he give up this vow, should he change? He even says, I didn't plan on this. I never planned on being happy. There is so much deep shit in this film. It's amazing that this is called a kid's movie because there is so much maturity, so much amazing detail into the creation of the characters. When Andrea Beaumont has to flee with her father because he is so embezzled into the mob that he has to go into hiding, Bruce loses all hope of a happy life and when he puts on the cowl, we see Alfred go, oh my god, because he has now become the exact personification of vengeance, the thing that Alfred was afraid that he would become. Of course, the story of the film is really interesting, the idea of gangsters who are affiliated with Andrea Beaumont's father are slowly being killed off, and the Batman is being accused of these murders, and all the while he's trying to figure out who is doing the acts, while at the same time, trying to rekindle this relationship with Andrea Beaumont, who has arrived in the city. And, again, I will point this out, but this story connection between the two is one of the best stories that the Animated Universe team ever did. The story is so well formulated, and how it comes to its conclusion, the giant battle inside the old New, York, New World thing is so cool, but at the same time, it's so heart-wrenching, because as much as they want to try and get together and you want them to get together all the elements are against them and the Joker is using freaking planes and Batman at one point just grabs him up in his cape and smashes him like a boss the animation style in some areas is a little bit Yankee but this movie was made in eight months it was never originally supposed to be released in, in theaters which it was which Bruce Tim was always said it was kind of a bad idea because it bombed and Despite the fact that this movie was made in 94, some of the animation is still solid. The Blu-ray does a good job of cleaning up the colors. It really makes things a lot more crisper. Originally, I couldn't really see the difference until I popped the DVD in. I was like, okay, yeah, there's, there's some differences. However, there's still no special features. There wasn't any special features on the DVD, and there's no special features on the Blu-ray, which is a bit of a wasted opportunity in my opinion. 
I would have thought that they maybe could have gotten Bruce Tim for an interview or some of the people for an interview just to talk about the movie, how it was made and everything. I really wanted to see something more in depth about how the film was made. So really, you are just getting the movie in Blu-ray quality. So unless you're a stickler about quality and you want to see a much better kind of version of the film in terms of colors and sharpness and whatnot, I would suggest this. However, it's only being released in the States, so for us Canadian people, add about another six bucks onto that. In the end, the film is still incredibly masterful. The voice acting by everyone in this crew is absolutely amazing. The twists and turns of this film is still stand out. The fact that this is only 76 minutes and yet it held so much content, yet the pacing of it is still masterful, it doesn't rush anything, it doesn't drag anything too long, is an amazement and I still have no idea how these guys put this together because in terms of a, an original idea, the only thing that I can say that comes close-ish to it is Gods and Monsters, but that had a few issues here and there, but it's still a fantastic film. I love Mask Phantasm. It is still the best animated universe film of the DC universe, in my opinion. In the end, my final rating for Batman Mask of the Phantasm is, of course, a 7 out of 7. If you guys have never seen this movie, seriously watch it. This is the VHS I owned when I was a kid. I still own it and I'm so happy that I do because this movie was dope. I watched it so many times as a kid and it's oddly enough that even though I watch it so many times, I can still notice new elements every time I see it as I mature. Now I think I've, I think I've got it all now. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.